This is a real good passage, very important. What shall we say then that Abraham our father as pertaining to the flesh hath found? For if Abraham were justified by works, he hath whereof to glory, but not before God. Okay, if Abraham was saved by his works, if he was justified, declared righteous by God, by his works, then he'd be able to boast about it. What saith the scripture? Abraham believed God and it was counted unto him for righteousness. He didn't work, instead he believed. Now to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. If you try to work your way to heaven, then it's not a gift, it's a reward. Okay, most of you spent your whole life working and getting a paycheck. Did your boss ever come up to you and say, you know, hey, good job, here's a gift. Uh-huh, no, wait a minute. That's my paycheck. I earned that. Okay, that's no gift. You know, I just put in 40 or 50 or 60 or however many hours earning that paycheck. You gave him your time and your effort, and now he owes you a paycheck. It's a debt. Okay? But, verse 5, this is important. But to him that worketh not, but believeth. You see, faith is not a work. There's no merit to faith. To him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly. His faith is counted for righteousness. When you trust Christ as your Savior, in effect you're saying to God, I am helpless, I am hopeless, there is absolutely nothing I can do. There is no way I can gain my salvation but by your Son. And I will allow Him to save my soul and take me to heaven. It all depends on Him. There's nothing of yourself involved. You can't do a thing to save yourself. And your faith is entirely in Him. You're trusting Him. There is no merit in that faith or that trust. The merit is all on the part of Christ. Mm -hmm.